Hello everybody, Wise Guy here, bringing you another Kerbal Space Program video, but this time we're doing things a little bit differently. I'm actually bringing you a tutorial. I've had a lot of trouble learning how to dock, so that's what we're doing. I recently learned how to dock, so we're going to do that. First thing first, get your rocket. I got Mumbo Jumbo here. Make sure you got a docking port on it. And up here you see we have Wise Guy Station. So first order of business, let's time warp until we get it close to the launch pad. So that's good enough. So what we're going to do is just launch this bad boy. Launch that baby. So let's throttle back a little bit here. Alright, and let me go ahead and explain to you the reasoning for why we wait here. If you were to launch while the space station was, or whatever it is you want to dock with, is over here, you will take... 15 to 20 orbits around Kerbin before you eventually catch up to this thing. And we ain't got that kind of time to worry about. And uh, our objective here is, you can see that Wise Guy Station here is on an altitude of about 100,000 kilometers or meters above the surface. I want to get a nice stable orbit or about 90 to 95,000 kilometers. Since we'll be under it, we'll be going faster than it, and it'll allow us to catch up to it and get close. But I will explain that further as the time comes. Right now, I'm just going to get us into orbit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put us into a nice orbit that's 90 to 95 kilometers, and we'll be under the space station. So I'll be right back with you guys when I get to that point. All right, here we are. I have us at about 100,000, which I will fine adjust once we get a nice orbit going, but here we are. We are now creating our orbit. I just jettisoned my other junk right there, and we are well on our way to docking with the Wise Guy Station. And we'll continue this. As you can see, we've already gotten that. I'll uh, fix this, fine-tune it once we get a nice orbit going. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's re-fix that. There we are. And do that. I'm not one of those kinds of people that likes to do uh, gravity turns. I like to get up to the altitude, then make my orbit. But I'll be right back with you when we got that orbit in place. And here we are. It isn't a perfect orbit. As you can see, uh, we're a little farther than we intended, but that's no biggie. It'll just take a little bit more time than normal. All right, so you got your orbit. You're a little bit under, except over here. That's no big whoop whoop, really. It looks like we're still going to be under it, to be honest. But over here is good, because we're quite a bit under. So first thing, order of business, set it as your target. And you'll get these nodes that come up. Right now, don't, since this is, we're so far apart, don't worry about it. Because watch this. Let's just speed it up here. And you'll see, I'll explain a little bit. These are your sending nodes when you get to your closest approach, and each color matches it. See, this is ascending intersect one, and there it is down there where he's going to be at that point, and so on and so forth. So at this point, you'll see, watch this. You see how they got closer a little bit? Because we're still under him, we're gaining speed on him. So this is the part I was explaining about earlier, about how it's going to take a long time, a lot of orbits to uh, catch up to the wise guy station here. So watch it again. Now we're going to go to number two. And bang. Oh, nope. There we go. See, we're getting a little bit closer each time. It might be hard to tell, but we are. But uh, after so many orbits, we can't speed up anymore because we're under 120,000 kilometers meters. We can't go faster than time warp of 50. So it takes a really long time, which is unfortunate. But eventually... These things are going to be right on top of each other, or as close as we can possibly get it. And when that happens, I'm going to save you all the boredom of me doing this orbit. I'll explain it further to you what your next step is. So be right back. Update time. Look how close we are getting now with these intersects. We are 925 kilometers away. So as we're getting ready to reset it, I want you to look at it. Watch it as its switch gets ever closer. We are now 925.5. And here we are again, 810. So we're getting 100 kilometers closer with each orbit. So about nine or seven more orbits, maybe eight more orbits, and we should be good to go. I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, here we are. 
look at this. We are now going to get within 24.7 kilometers of our designation. And this is how close we're going to be from the Wise Guy Station. And actually, if we go out here, there it is right there, 18.9. All right, now we're coming up on the nodes. We still got some time to explain a little bit. First thing I want you to do is, you see your little uh, speed um, speedometer right here? It'll probably say orbit. Now click it until it goes to target. This is how fast we need to be. This is how fast we are in relation to the target. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna explain it before we get there. Once we get as close to here as we can, we're gonna then going to point our ship retrograde and I'll put the symbol right up here because I am pretty stupid as it relates to anything Kerbal Space Program. This is what this retrograde symbol looks like. It's got the X through it. You want to point your ship at that, and that will slow your speed and eventually match you with the target speed. So let's us now time warp just a tad. Not too fast because we don't want to overshoot. And here we go. That's close enough. So let us now burn retrograde until we get our speeds maxed or zeroed out. And as you can see, that speed is going down rapidly. So let's cut back throttle. And I got That's good enough. That is perfect, actually. That's kind of what we want. All right, so now our objective Oh, hold up here. Let's burn a little more retrograde. Here we go. Perfect. All right, now what you want to do is you've slowed it down quite a considerable amount. Now point yourself at the target's prograde, this pink circle. That is where your target is, so we're going to burn towards the target. Here we are. And now you can move your – you see right here on the nav ball? Move it until the circle without the X is within that range. And now you can see our target relation is 51.8 and going up, but look, we're getting closer to the station. That is ideal. So let's do this again. Burn a tad. There we are. Perfect. You don't want to go too fast because you don't want to run into this son of a gun, but I'm feeling like a daredevil here, so let us burn this bad boy like crazy. We got enough fuel to do it. I think we might be screwing up, but we'll find out. All right, look how fast we are going now. So let us turn ourselves wet retrograde. And let's point ourselves retrograde because we will have to slow down. And retrograde for our orbit and retrograde for the object are one and the same. And look, we're going to get within 1.1 kilometers of this object at this rate. So let us do a little time warp make sure we leave ourselves plenty of time okay this is where it gets tricky i am no expert on docking i will be the first to tell you so this is going to require a lot of finesse so power through here let's zero ourselves out here as much as we can we probably just overshot the station a little bit but that's no biggie. We can always fix it. And there it is. See that? And X. Look at that. We are almost dead on balls accurate with this thing. So now let's point yourself target prograde again. Okay. Now let's burn towards it a tad. We don't want to go too fast. Remember, see your, your little circle there? You want to do that. And that's perfect. Look how we're approaching. And I hope you equipped RCS on your uh, your ship because you're going to need it. RCS is a key component to docking. You cannot not have it. So let's hit the end button. And we will slow ourselves down. Actually, let's not hit end. Let us quickly turn retrograde and zero ourselves out. Perfect. Look at that. Now we are within manageable distance for RCS. So now let us just end button is for backwards on RCS. So let's do this. We are controlling ourselves here. We're doing good. We're doing pretty good. 
and I want to turn my lights on. It's a good idea to have lights with you on your, uh, your shuttle journeys here. All right, we're gonna burn just a little bit to get us back on track with this bad boy. There we go. We are now approaching the station again. And let me turn myself right. There we are. All right, we are now looking at it. You're gonna be using the nav ball quite a bit for this. All right, let's use our H button to propel ourselves forward. And I'm losing control here, so SAS, there we go. Problem resolved. And you can actually see it, I keep the lights on on that thing, so it's easy to see. I need to... Where is my retrograde stuff? Hang on, I don't know where my retrograde is. There it is. Okay, so let's do this. We are zeroing out our speed again, so when in doubt, always burn retrograde when you're getting really close. And we are essentially zeroed out with this bad boy. Look at that. All right, now we got to get ourselves pointed at the target's prograde again as soon as I can find it on this freaking nav ball. All right, redo right there. Just turn on SAS when in doubt. And there it is. All right, here we go. It's docking time. So look at your target, point yourself at the target prograde, and thrust yourself forward with the RCS. You don't want to use your, uh, what's it called, main engines at this point, because you will screw yourself up. So use your RCS and check it out. We are slowly approaching the station here, and this is perfect. So let us just warp a little bit. Uh-huh. Perfect, look at this. And let us slow our roll here. We are now approaching at one meter a second. At this rate, we'll be at contact in 45 seconds. Now we have a decision to make. Where do we want to dock this son of a gun? I have plenty of docking parts, as you can see. There's tons right there. There's one down here. Where do we want to dock? I think I want to dock right there, so let us point ourselves at it. Oh, got to turn SAS off first a little bit. Okay, so point yourself in a general direction like this. Try and match yourself up with it. Most people will switch between them. I'm, uh, I don't do that, I just look at it. And we, we plan it out here with the relation of how your, your ship is going. So this seems about right, and now I'm a cheater. This is not really a cheater, but I got a cheat sheet open with all the RCS maneuvers because I don't have them memorized yet. So as you can see, we're drifting right, so we need to stop that. So we need to go left, which is the J button. And as you can see, it stops that. And if we're going to dock right there, we need to go up as well. And that is the K button. So let's propel ourselves up, see how we're moving now. Isn't it nice having lights on your station? Perfect. We are going up, and now we need to go propel ourselves forward a tad. Okay. We are slowly moving towards this thing. Let's slow it down. We need to go right some more. We need to go right, so that is L. And we're going up at an angle, so let's go down. And we're almost right on line with that son of a gun. Look at that. One more tab down. That's perfect in every way. And now get ready to go left, which is J. And that is ideal. So let's just, you see the station? You see the station, there we are. That's perfect. All right, let's go forward a little bit here. This is actually going very well. I'm actually very impressed. I'm hoping this is helping you out a little bit. I'm. I'm going to make, I'm not going to lie to you, this right here, what we're doing right now, is my third docking. I just finally learned how to dock today. Right here, what you see are two components that were launched at different times. These are my, well, this is one successful docking. I did one testing earlier, but I deorbited it. Uh, but here you go. You don't want to go in too fast, so there you go. You can see we hit that. All right, now it's time for some minor adjustments. Let's 
zero ourself out there. That's perfect. We need to go up. So let's do K. We need to go right, which is L. Stop that movement right now from happening. So as we go up, we're getting slowly aligned here. Look how close this is. And I to stop our f upward progress. Look at that. And let's go forward again. Keep your button, keep you on that end button. All right, we need to go left now. There we go. So let's get ready to go right. We need to go up now. There we go. And right. Excellent. Okay. And let's go down. Oops, nope. I hit the wrong one. So we need to go I for down. There we go. We got plenty of RCS, though. We need to go left now. And, f oops, sorry about that. Let's go forward. All right. And stop our backwards. There we are. We're getting ever closer. We need to go right, and that is L. And tap that a little bit. And, oh, the magnets have stuck to stop to eventually dock. There we go. We docked. And that is how you dock. That went so smoothly. I am so incredibly surprised. Normally, when it doesn't dock like that, you just got to turn the SAS off, and it'll dock automatically. But apparently that one was so perfect, I didn't even have to turn it off. So I'm incredibly impressed with myself. I hope you guys learned a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry if I can't explain it very well. I'm definitely no Scott Manley. I, I'm just trying to figure out a way to help people that have trouble docking like I did. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a comment uh, whether or not you liked it. And if you didn't, tell me how I can improve and I might make an updated, nicer version and as we leave, as I depart you here, we shall now warp into the sunset with our newly attached module to the Wise Guy Space Station. I am Wise Guy 1, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.